Evan Mobley is the next Kevin Garnett and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys exactly why through another banging film breakdown all right this one is extra special because I'm gonna be giving you guys a side-by-side -side look at Evan Mobley then back to Kevin Garnett back and forth all right who else is bringing you content like this on the internet nobody so smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to see more OG film breakdowns like this one but without further ado let's hop in the film room and see why Evan Mobley is the next big ticket I'll see you guys after peace Mobley's first skill set that blows me away is his incredible footwork under the basket. I mean, this kid is only 20 years old and his patience and poise already reminds me of a young KG. Here we're going to see not one, but two smooth pump fakes to get the defenders in the air as Mobley finishes with a commanding two-handed flush. Once again, look at this footwork, ladies and gentlemen, as Mobley throws it down on an outstanding rim protector. Now that is pure old school and I absolutely love it. Now not only does Mobley possess some of the best footwork I've seen in a minute, but he pairs it with a buttery soft hook shot that brings back flashes of the late 90s when guys like Shaq, Tim Duncan, and KG were dropping 40 balls on your favorite team. As promised, let's take a look at the footwork of one of the most skilled power forwards that the league has ever seen in Mr. Kevin Garnett as he absolutely punishes Zebo on the block. Sorry, Zach, you was mad nice, but ain't no one stopping the big ticket. Now, remember all those pivots Mobley used on Miles Turner? Well, here goes Garnett with almost an identical move on the block. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is what they call barbecue chicken. This next segment is my favorite because it's something you just don't see much anymore in today's modern NBA, which is Biggs actively attacking mismatches. As you can see, Mobley is extremely talented at boxing out a smaller defender and spinning to the basket to get inside position early in the shot clock. Now, as I said, because of the lack of more traditional Bigs in the NBA, teams don't really go to this option as much as when KG was playing. However, it's great to see the Cavs utilizing their Bigs in Allen and Mobley to punish the small ball teams. Now, KG was a beast when it came to making teams pay for either putting a smaller defender on him or a less skilled player. And I'm telling you now, just wait for Mobley to put on another 25 to 30 pounds of muscle in the next few years and he will be dominating down low even more than he does now. Shifting to the defensive end where Mobley is already making a name for himself as a polarizing shot blocker, he is currently averaging 1.8 blocks per game which ranks him as the seventh best shot blocker in the league today. At 6'11 without shoes and a more than gifted 7'4 wingspan, Mobley is built in a lab for the game of basketball. On top of his incredible frame, however, he has an amazing feel for the game on the defensive end, which allows him to be in the perfect position to alter even more shots than he gets credit for. Just like Evan Mobley, Kevin Garnett also stands at 6 feet 11 inches with a 7'4 wingspan, which is pretty incredible that they have such a similar frame. That is what initially drove me towards the comparison, however, as we are seeing, the two dominant big men share more than just a tall and long frame, but rather they both have a tremendous amount of skill and are forces on both ends of the floor. When you combine a 7-4 wingspan with above average basketball instincts, you usually get a pretty remarkable rebounder and in Mobley's case that couldn't be more true. Exactly halfway through the season, Mobley leads all rookies in rebounding as he averages 8.1 boards a game with 1.6 of those being on the offensive end. Also, keep in mind that he is playing on a team with multiple 7-footers on the floor, so if he played on a more traditional team, he would easily average a double-double. Next up, a man who did average a double-double throughout his career and led the league in rebounds four years in a row, KG is still one of the highest motor big men that the league has ever seen, and if Mobley can take a page out of Garnett's book when it comes to working the glass, boy will the rest of the league be on notice. Now who else is bringing you film breakdowns and comparisons on OG hoopers like Kevin Garnett? Make sure you smash the like button if you're still watching and hit the subscribe button. 
The part of Mobley's game that has shocked me the most is his ability to knock down the 15 footer with consistency. This aspect of Evan's game makes him that much more lethal and dynamic when defenses prepare for the Cavaliers. With two dynamic pick and roll guards in Sexton and Garland, having a rim roller that can knock down the elbow jumper makes it that much more challenging to stop. And like the rebounding, I also expect Mobley to get even better with his mid-range package as time goes on, and that, my friends, will be a scary sight. The ability to knock down the mid-range shot is arguably what turned KG from a great player to a Hall of Fame player. In the late 90s and early 2000s, there were a bunch of strong big men with solid footwork, but what separated Garnett's game from the rest was his lethal mid-range package, and that kept you guessing. Like a Kevin Durant, there is no one, and I mean absolutely no one, who is blocking KG's jumper. And when you also have to worry about him driving to the basket, boy does it make for a tough night. This final segment is for all my OGs out there watching. I want to highlight Mobley's ability to make plays by feeding him the ball and waiting for the double. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard Barkley, Shaq, and other retired hoopers saying that back in the days, offenses would have to pass the ball inside the paint to the big man before it was swung back out. Well, now, of course, with so many elite point guards, that just really isn't the case. However, the Cavs tend to use their bigs in more of an old school fashion, and it is so nice to watch. Who says big man can't still dominate in the league anymore? Kevin Garnett averaged as many as six dimes per game during his time with the Timberwolves. Now, I don't ever expect Mobley to average six assists per game, but it's definitely nice to see that the Cavs are giving Mobley the opportunity to expand his game and get others involved. Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's film breakdown on Evan Mobley and a side-by-side -side comparison next to Kevin Garnett. If you guys enjoyed this retro breakdown and comparison, make sure to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Like I always say, I live, sleep, and breathe basketball. So if you guys do as well, make sure to follow the page. I'm trying to build the number one basketball community here at Better Through Ball. So I really do appreciate all your guys' support. But anyways, let me know in the comment section, is Mobley the next Kevin Garnett? What are your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? What part of the games do you see that are similar? And what part does Mobley need to improve on? And hey, where are my Cleveland Cavaliers fans at? All right, most people don't cover these small market teams, but of course, I'ma try and give everyone the due respect that they deserve. But anyways, without further ado, my name is Wiseman. This has been Better Through Ball. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.